you're probably wondering, what are creative gems? Creative gems are messages and inspirations that I've learned on my creative journey. My goal is to inspire any creative to point, period, get out of your own way. Like, I've done this too many times in my career and I still currently get in my own way. So if I can steer you away from doing that a lot sooner than I have, then I felt like I reached my goal. So today's topic is you are the talent, not the tool. What that means is you're talented, right? Not the tools that you use. As a creative, we oftentimes get caught up in the idea that I can't create without having the latest and greatest of tools in order to tell my story. I'm here to say that's not true, right? I'm not saying that you need to have like a cheaper version of uh, what it is that you need to create, but you don't need to have the latest, right? Because the talent lies within you, right? Not the tool. Like for instance, a photographer obviously needs a camera to tell the story, right? But do they need the latest? Like the camera company will tell you, oh, every year we have a new model come out. You have to have it in order to tell the story. No, you don't. You're the eye. In order for that camera to work, it needs your eye to tell that story. There might be a certain composition that you like, a certain angle, certain perspective. It's a beautiful tool to have the latest, have all these crazy cool lenses, like which you do need. I'm not gonna say that they're not important because they are. But they're nothing if you can't tell your story, right? They can't work without you. It projects your eye, right? It can't, it just, it's just a shell, right? And I'm not diminishing the tool at all. Um, that's not my mission. Um, my mission is just to constantly express that idea that you are the talent. It lies within you. For instance, I am a visual storyteller. So when I tell stories, there's moments when I illustrate these, these ideas, right? But I don't have an iPad Pro. Like I know we're in a digital age and the iPad Pro and having Procreate are basically industry standard for designers. But I don't have one, but does that make me less than? Does it make me less talented? No. The way I illustrate is old school. I draw on paper, all right? And then once I finish the illustration, I take a photo of it. Don't laugh how, uh, how I do it. I use photo booth on my, uh, my MacBook, right? That's a little archaic. I don't know if anybody else does that, but I take a photo of it and then I transport it into Adobe Illustrator. And then from there, I use the pen tool, I redraw it with the pen tool, and then I add life to it with color and using the different uh, textures and brush strokes and all those stuff. But I still can produce beautiful illustrations. Like I design my, the typeface that I use everywhere in my work, right? I draw that myself, hand drawn. Granted, if I did have an iPad Pro and I did have Procreate, my production would be a lot faster. But what I'm just trying to say is I'm not less than, I'm not less talented. Because I still believe in my heart that I'm producing quality work. The goal is, is what I'm saying is you're the talent, right? Everything that you want to create comes from you. A painter, for instance, they have this blank canvas. It's blank, it's nothing, right? It's just a board. But the life happens when you enter the room because you have the idea you want to tell the story. For instance, the paint that you, sit, you see sitting behind me, those are cans. Like when I walk in this room, they're just cans and I'm not diminishing the fact of what they are. But in order for those beautiful colors to tell a story, it would need a creator to grab it off the shelf and actually make it work. 
The next time you feel like, oh, I can't create because I don't have this and I don't have that, I'm trying to tell you, do it. Get out of your own way, right? Because the, once those thoughts enter your brain, the idea of not doing it actually happens a lot quicker than you actually doing it because you already set yourself up to think that I can't because I don't have this. Why don't you try it first, right? You might not have the latest camera or you might not have the latest paint that you need to actually tell the story. But how about working with what you have? At least try and then build yourself up so you can get uh, the latest in order to create the story that you want to tell, right? So get out of your own way, right? That is my mission. That is my message today. And I hope any creative watching this is inspired to like get up and do it. Those thoughts enter your head, get up and do it. Don't believe it. It's a lie. Trust me, I've been down this journey. I am still on this journey. My goal is to tell you, get out of your own way. You are the talent, not the tool.